Well, I'm going to dig this hard clay dump again today. And I got it caved way back in there, so it's going to be a real pain. I might just have to start chopping the top part off, which is going to take a while, but I don't know. Creek came up here and made everything a big mess. But, better get to it. Alright guys, I'm going to try to dig it out in front of you. It's whole, guys. Alright, guys. Got a larger base showing up. See what it is. It's a fruit car. It's an old fruit jar. Alright, I'm going to brush it off and see if it says anything. 
And it didn't say anything. It was just a slick product jar. All right, got something out of here. Some square ball here. embossed Shackleton Company Hitler Grand Rapids, Michigan. Okay, I found one of these before, but with a different style top. Alright, got a base showing here. Let's see what this one is. It's a Kilmer's. It's the most common Kilmer's there is. But, oh well, at least it's an embossed man instead of a slick. Alright guys, got something back in here. Let's see what this is. Red Raven splits or something. This has a few initials on it. Huh. I don't know. Alright guys, taking a day and I got a fruit jar here. They're pretty good. It's all triple L. What's up, guys? Made a trip to Dayton, Ohio today to dig. Had to go through a bunch of this hard gravel crap, but I got ice there, so I think I might be able to find some good stuff today. I'm here for a get together, so figured why not dig before it starts. Anyway, I will let you know if I find anything later. All right, guys, got a bottle here. From what I can tell, it looks like it's going to be the most common. Ball from Dayton, Ohio, Sounders flavoring extract. It could be an embossed or labeled one. We'll find out. It is the labeled one, and it's damaged. Well, got my neck's fine. It's an old Bixby shoe polish bottle. I just realized there's a cap layer underneath here. I thought I was in the nice ice layer, but it's just a really thin ice layer with 
99% broken stuff in it. That Bixby's the first whole bottle I found that isn't damaged or broken. So anyway, I'll keep digging and hopefully I can get through this cap layer in time for uh, in time to find something good today. Well, yesterday I only got the one Bixby bottle to bring home because of the layer being really thin. But the reason why the layer was thin was because the main layer was under this cap layer, so I bought me a spud bar today, and that should help me get through that. So I will let you know when I find something. Well, that cap layer is pretty deep. It's over a foot for sure. I just gotta get to work and get through this because that is really deep there. That whole layer is almost as deep as this hole here, even though you can't tell from here because of the, uh, it's not very wide. Alright guys, I struck the top of the layer. Got a piece of a blown mud there, so yeah, all I gotta do is widen this out. But that's gonna be a job, but I will get to it. Some type of oil lamp or something. Just some ink or something. Don't say anything. Sightseeing in the. And it's all mellowed bad, and so is the, this one. Look there. Slick. Darn it. Here's a couple bottles I didn't get on film from a couple of the uh, digs. Got a medium sized warranted flask. Got a Klein soda, I think. Got nice hires here. A nice front embossed one. A lot of them are only embossed on the base. So that's kind of a harder to get one. Got a Foley's Kitty Pills bottle from Chicago. Most Foley bottles are square or rectangular, I mean. Round ones are not common. And I got a Dr. King's New Life Pills bottle. It's embossed on three different sides. And it's aqua, so it's older than the average one. Here's another blown one that I dug out of a different dump. And it's clear, blown, and only embossed on the one side. So this one's older and hard to get, I think. First one I've seen. 
And here's the one decent ball that came out of Dayton. The Schwind Brewery Company, Dayton, Ohio. Try to get more focus for you there. There it goes. We had some nice big blown in mold quart crown. Much less common than the Dayton Brewery for sure. So I was glad to get that anyway. Alright, that is it. Till next time.